Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we got a special video for you. I am standing in front or behind of a brand new base gray version of our F-18. This was supposed to arrive to us uh, before Joe Nall, but it got stuck in tracking. Um, so uh, we were gonna have Steve Hodges. He brought all his paints, he brought 3D printed accessories. He was gonna do this at the table at Joe Nall and made it there, but uh, that unfortunately didn't get to happen. So it, it was at my house when I got back from Joe Nall, and now I started to get some of the other things in because these base gray F-18s, you're gonna have to put your own scheme on them. You're gonna have to do your own work to it. So I figured, why not A, do it on the video since I have it here and we're getting ready for Nephi coming up at the end of the month. So I definitely wanna have this bad boy on display at Nephi along with the blues. Um, but also do a video of just how how you customize because uh, Jeremy Salt, if you guys might know him, he helped us out at Joe Nall and he did a great video last year uh, customizing an L39. The video was over an hour and a half long. He did such great work there. So many great tips. So I'll put a link uh, in the description of this video to that video if you're somebody who wants to customize a foamy. But uh, basically I'm gonna do a very well, not generic version, but basically, uh, you know, uh, a build video, if you will, a customization uh, in my own way. But I'd also love to get some help from you guys in the comment section. So again, this video right now is just to tell you what we're going to do. You see all the parts laid out on the table. But what I wanted to do also in the original build video for the F-18, I never had the real box art. I didn't have a real production version. My version had already been flown, had a lot of things already pre-installed that, uh, or and some things that were uninstalled when I got it that I had to do because uh, it wasn't a final production version that one over there but this one is a final production version and actually it's funny you see that we rushed uh, these grays out to everybody you could see a lot of the plastic bits that uh, get printed out are in the blues scheme. So you'll never see those on there, but just to show you that Freewing listened and they decided they slapped on their gray on the white parts of the foam, but they never had time to go and reprint yet any of the, uh, you know, of the plastic pieces that all the stuff that's gonna be hidden that you're not gonna see anyway, they still come in the original scheme for the blue. So I thought that was actually kind of cool to show you that we rushed through. So now what you see on the table guys is everything that comes out of the box. And there were a few things here that again, I didn't get when I had the other version. And the main one is here is the 80 millimeter conversion. Um, if you wanted to run your F-18 on an 80 millimeter fan, this comes in the box. So underneath the fuselage, this is just the compartment that you get at the EDF unit. You'll see it already on for the 90 millimeter. This is a plug and play version, so I'm, I'm not gonna put it on 80, but it comes with this piece. So basically all you're gonna have to do if you wanted to run an 80 millimeter fan, say you got like the ARF Plus version, you will just have to you know, pry off the glue that holds these plastic housings and then glue them onto these nice already pre-molded pieces on there and then you'll be able to fit an 80 millimeter fan this uh the walls on this i believe are going to be a little thicker so uh that's going to help you guys out if you wanted to run it that way so that was something i didn't have in the other version so when when alpha and freewing had told me that for that video i'm like i never even seen it I'm, you know i didn't know what to uh really say about it because i didn't have one but there you have it as far as everything else though, she looks beautiful coming out of the box. It's a lot cleaner, like my nozzles weren't put on it. You know, on mine, the tail hook was already installed, but you can see it comes by itself. A lot of the peripherals though, all look the same. Servos are all pre-installed. Everything looks great. So my intention for this base gray F-18 is gonna be the VMFA 115 Silver Eagles. Uh, I saw it pop up on Cali Graphics, and I have a picture here that you're seeing, and she looks gorgeous, so I wanna have all those drop tanks attached under the wing, at least when I have it displayed statically. I want a center tank, and obviously I want my sidewinders on the wing tips, and I just love the scheme. So here it is, this came from Cali, came in a lot of pieces. I'm definitely a little nervous putting on full stickers. I'm probably gonna have to cut these down a little bit just to make them fit uh, perfectly, but I'm excited to do it. So, you know, we love promoting Callie. She sent me these because she knew we were doing this video. So I thank Callie so much and I can't wait to see how she looks with that. Some of the other things we're gonna do in this video, I do have to do a little bit of paint because, um, the graphics that came doesn't have the sun glare on the front, so I noticed on, I only have like two or three pictures that I could find that look really detailed of the jet I'm going for, but it definitely has the black sun glare, so I'm gonna use a little Rust-Oleum, and I'm gonna tape this off, so in that video, uh, I'll show you how we do that. And then also, I wanna talk about 3D printed ordnance. So you can see over here, these are Dirty D's. He's, uh, 
He's one of the guys on our squat forums. I've seen Steve Hodges has printed out a bunch of his ordnance. So is George Baker and a lot of other guys print them out. But I finally just got a 3D printer the other day and I printed these and I still got to glue some, some of the tail fins on, but I'm going to get these paint, painted. Uh, these look really great. I may even have to scale them up a little bit, but we'll show you that process too for the customization because I know a lot of guys are looking for ordnance for the F-18. Now again, we rushed out the gray version, so Freewing didn't have a chance to make more ordnance for it. The gray was always going to come, but it was going to come a little later down the road. Um, but now that they're out, I know a lot of people can use the F-16 ordnance. A lot of those pieces will fit and scale to, to uh, the F-18, but that's one of the beauties of having a 3D printer or getting on Thingiverse. Um, if there's something you want, people can print it and mail it to you uh, pretty cheap. So if you know someone with a 3D printer, uh, I'll have a link to a lot of the files that I'm going to use in this video because I'm still not sure what route I'm going to go. I noticed that the uh, drop tanks, like I found one file uh, on there and I printed out this and the tank is awesome, but I just think it's a little too small. For, uh, for what I'm going for. And it needs a pylon, so I didn't see a printout for the pylon that's gonna match as well, but I would want two of these running underneath the wings and they're just a tad small. So I might scale these up and do some manipulation there. I still haven't, still not sure, but the beauty about the, uh, the F-18, you can see it now a lot easier than the Blue Angels one because that had the US Navy decals on it, but it already has a railing system. So the railing system we sell for the F-16, that's going to fit right in there, which is great, but I'm going to have to make another slot because I want two drop tanks and I'll probably get them right in between the two servos. Um, and again, I'm probably not going to fly with all that ordnance. It's more going to be for static display, but it's going to look really cool because I just loved, I love when I saw the picture of that plane, I'm like, yep, if I'm doing a base gray F-18, that was the one to do. And uh, I'm excited to do it. So guys, that'll do it for this video. Again, if you're getting a base gray version, they will be here when the blues arrive as well. So this is what you're gonna get. And she looks beautiful. And uh, stay tuned as soon as I'm done with the video because it'll take a few days for us to piece it all together. We'll release a full video where we go step by step. But one thing I wanted to ask you, the viewers out there, the air brake. So they give you an awesome, if you see the picture, that I uh, showed you earlier of the F-18 of this VM of the uh, 115 Silver Eagles F-18, you can see they have a beautiful decal for the air brake, and the air brake on the F-18 is right in the back towards the nozzles, and you can see that we do have it molded into foam. But I obviously don't want to cut through the foam here and do that. But is there a way? How would you guys make this? If I just wanted a static, uh, you know, air brake that I could just sort of pop on there. How would you guys do that? Because I feel like I'm gonna lose that sticker just putting it back there. I feel like you're never gonna see it. And I want it to be up when I when I have it on the table. So let me know, how would you do that? I was thinking, is there some sort of like plastic maybe that I could lay over the top that would harden and then I could sort of cut it out, but it's got a lot of grooves. And if you guys have any ideas for me, uh, I'd be happy to give it a try because if I could get a static version, of the air brake up when it's sitting on the table for display. I think that would look really awesome. And I definitely have no interest in putting an actual servo in there, adding weight. I don't need a, I don't need a working air brake for my F-18. I just want it to look cool when it's on the ground. And aside from the air brake, I also wanted to ask you guys about the full tail decals. So these are vertical stab decals. They give you four, front and back for both vertical stabilizers. Now you notice on you know, on the vertical tails, there's a lot of ridges, there's a lot of grooves. So I wanted to ask you guys, customers, how do you, if you've ever applied a full decal onto a tail, you know, how do, how do you guys do it? Are you guys using decal set? What is gonna morph it around so it doesn't look, you know, I'm not trying to achieve perfection. Um, I want it to look good from far, but it can be far from good, I guess, if, if that's the way to go. But you know, maybe there is a better way to do it. My thought process is to, apply the decal slowly across the flat portions and then work my way around these grooves. But let me know, um, you know, I'm, I'm an open book and I can't wait to just have a good looking Silver Eagles F-18 for display and to fly, but I could use your help. And one of the things I already did was I took a, I had opened the box before we did this video, so this wasn't a full unboxing. I grabbed the piece, I went over to Home Depot, and they printed me out the exact color match for the gray. Because I know a lot of the missiles and the drop tanks are all in the same color as the aircraft, so I wanted to get that early. So here it is, guys, and here's the color code. If you want the color code, UL204, I think is the code. 
but take a look at that. That is, that'll get it done at Home Depot. If you just want to show them this picture, take a static. I'll post a picture on Squawk and on uh, Facebook maybe. So you can find that there if you want to get your base gray. Always have that ready before you even get the model. It's good to have it there. So that'll do it for this video, guys. These F-18s are coming really, really soon now. The F-35, the Dora, they, they arrived about a week ago, and the F-18 is going to be the next one to arrive, so you should see those shipping notices coming out in a few short weeks. But that'll do it, guys, for this. Stay tuned for the final completion, and definitely jump on Hobby Squawk, jump on Instagram, jump on Facebook. I'll be posting pictures as I do it, so if you want to follow along there, but eventually we'll have it fully complete on the table, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.